Hey guys, this is Camry15 back at it with another video for you guys. We are back after the long awaited monthly break of Dragon Ball Super. And uh, yeah, this manga chapter. Obviously, if you watched my last week's manga chapter review, um, there definitely was a lot of people up in arms. I still think chapter 65. You know, regardless how people feel after the sense of being thing, you know, there are still some people that, there are people out there, or when I watch reviews about it, about it saying like, listen, you know, even though the sense of being thing was a uh, clear or cut issue, you know, the rest of the chapter was still good. Um, I'm not gonna deny the, re the rest of chapter 65 wasn't still at least good, but for me, in my opinion, I think the sense of being issue totally doesn't rectify what we saw going forward in that manga chapter. Even though, you know, here, they definitely do make a pretty good chapter here. This is like a really good chapter. And, um, you know, I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, you know, like I said, you know, regard, like I said, you know, based on how this arc ends, which the arc is gonna conclude next month in December, um, um, I, I just liked how they used some things um, here and how they tied it to essentially something from the end of Z when it came to, ooh, which, man, to say that, one, I'm so happy I did not like come across any spoilers or any things my mention whatsoever. Like legit, I made sure to stay spoiler free for this manga chapter. So one, I'm happy. I'm happy I like legit stayed spoiler free. So uh, yeah, um, Oob does show up in this chapter and he actually, crazy enough says, is kind of really the main person who kind of gets Goku the dub. Anyways, anyways, let's talk about this manga chapter. I'm gonna go through all the pages and just give summaries of throughout what's happening and stuff like that. I won't show any manga pages on my screen because I do not want to get copyright stricken. Anyways, that's if you're asking if you're a first time viewer of the channel. Anyways, anyways, this is Dragon Ball Super Chapter 66 titled Moro Consumer of Worlds. Um, even though I don't know, the, the title, to me the title feels like it shouldn't be like, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I, that's kind of a unique title. Um, Moral Consumer of Worlds, even though he does try to steal the energy of everybody on the planet. It's just, you think you would have something else, or the fall of Moro, or something like that. Anyways, um, are the other Z Fighters are all back and, you know, reawakened after Dende healed them. And essentially, um, they're seeing like, whoa, uh, what's going on? Because the Earth seems different and stuff like that. Well, Dende makes mention, and then Gohan, he's like, my body feels like it's hurt. And then we realize, oh, it's because Moro is essentially draining everybody's energy with his thing, which, oh, he's now resorting to that technique when he could have did it how many chapters ago? Yeah. So, it comes over to some people on Earth, you know, are, you know, having the energy essentially, you know, drained from them and stuff like that. Now Goku's like, okay, stop doing this, Moro, and stuff like this. So he, Moro throws out a punch, and he's punched from the ground, and Goku's blocking them all. And essentially, you now Moro brings up a third punch up under Goku, and essentially, it furthers the point that essentially Moro can make, you know, his, his, the body, the, the planet is, the earth is his body. And um, essentially, you know, he can do whatever he wants. If he wants to bring out a few more hands, go ahead. And stuff like that, um, which was pretty pretty cool from what you're seeing from the art here, which was interesting and stuff like that. Now, Weez goes on to make a mention by saying, this is bad. Simply dodging those attacks may avoid the detonation. Moro's energy will continue to swell on Baden. Essentially, Weez is like, yeah, Goku can dodge for as long as he wants to, but uh, eventually the planet's gonna blow up. So uh, he's fighting a losing battle regardless and stuff like that. Hold on, I have to turn off my notifications because I'm getting notifications from these Twitter links about PS5s and stuff like that. No, that was not a PS5 link. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways. Um, 
Some Krillin asks, like, well, uh, is there a way to keep stop him from exploding? But Whis is like, yeah, there's one way. And stuff like that. Now, Beerus, it looks like Beerus is about to get involved in here. So everybody who was claiming for Beerus, well, let's get involved in this nonsense. Let's, you know, we want Beerus to get involved. And Beerus literally, he gets out of the bubble there and he's like, all right, I guess I'm going to have to uh, handle this myself, aren't am I? Now, we later find out that obviously, <coughs> Whis tells him, Whis tells Goku later on in the chapter, in a few pages, um, that um, they, have to they have to destroy the crystal. Now, you know, in Embarrass's dialogue to his extent, you know, that he made it sound like um, he was going to essentially just Hakai him and just blow up the planet regardless and he wouldn't give a crap about it. But let's be honest, Beerus wanted to destroy Earth because he likes Earth food, Earth's food. He probably would have just given his sister Goku and destroyed the crystal. Um, maybe it would have separated Moro, Moro would have been back, and then he, he would have just Hakai Moro. Um, so we were like literally this close to seeing Beerus actually get into action and maybe do something worth a damn. But I think it was also another good reason why they didn't have Beerus get involved, because guess what? Because if Beerus got involved and actually did all of that, as I said, let's just say that would have been like, I, I would have been upset. I would have been upset. I would have been like, so you ha you make more old villain only for Beerus to take care of him. Well, then why didn't you just ask Beerus to do it at the start of the arc then? So thank God, like I said, and that was one of my things that I said, Toritaru cannot go that direction. If he goes the direction where he has Beerus or Whis somehow come in to save and clutch and destroy Moro, then I'm gonna have serious problems. They almost went that direction. They almost, they are. They teased it, I guess you can say. But um, before they stopped that, essentially Whis gets a call from the Grand Priest telling you know, Beerus that they have to go back to the Angel Realm because the Grand Priest is calling them and pertains to the events of what happened about Miris. And Beerus is obviously freaked out. He's like, wait, they already know about Mirrors disappearing. And you know, Whis is like, yeah. So, uh, I don't know what that means, but it seems like the Grand Priest might not be in the best of moods because, uh, yeah, one of his sons died because uh, he didn't listen. Um, so, uh, could this lead into the next arc? We'll just have to find out probably next month in the next chapter. So they eventually dip. Um, and stuff like that. Whis tells Goku, listen, you know, do this what I tell you and have confidence, you know, in, you know, or have faith in your own strength, um, essentially. Um, okay, um, I, I, I'm like, have faith in your own strength? I'm like, shouldn't Goku have faith in his own strength? What, he doesn't believe himself to? Okay, whatever. Um, so that just gives Goku the boost to realize, oh yeah, I fucked up. So yeah, um, so that's the thing, the thing. So that's the thing. So they leave the planet Earth and stuff like that. So you have Moro essentially growing bigger and bigger and stuff like that. And also at the same time, he's closing up on his forehead, the crystal thing with his, I guess, Earth skin. And he's trying to close it up where Goku can barely see it so he can give out a dishing punch. But then that's when Vegeta came in and like everybody predicted, you know, um, from last week, from the last month manga chapter, Vegeta would use four spirit vision on the Earth to essentially, um, well, I guess you can say, separate more on the Earth. Well, he used four spirit fit, four spirit fission. He didn't separate from the Earth. It was just to make him weaker and essentially drain the vitality from him and stuff like that. And you can see the crystal starts to show it reappear and open up and stuff like that as Vegeta's punching the ground. Now Vegeta's like, Kakarot, hurry up and freaking do your job, please. We're trying to come out of here alive. Thank you very much and stuff like that. So Goku goes in, he flies in, essentially he's dodging all of Moro's hands that are going at him. And he's trying to finish this in one punch. Um, and you know, it's gonna the point he's dodging, it, it, it's getting to the point, he's eventually going through these hand, through Moro's hands. He's like punching straight through him. And you see, and I, I like the shots here, the artwork is great. Um, I will say if there's anything Tori Taro, you know, you can't hate about him. Um, he has improved his art you know, much over the time of the Dragon Ball manga. I didn't start really reading the Dragon Ball manga like seriously until like the Moro arc or after the Tournament of Power. Like I just kind of watched people's reviews, but he has, his art has gotten 
you know, better as the time has progressed. Now, Goku's getting to the last hand, but the last hand kind of makes him, you know, stuck. And, you know, he's holding him in place and things like that. And the thing is, we find out that and Vegeta's like, listen, dude, can you hurry up and freaking finish this guy off, dude? Like, he's draining my power too. There's only so much I can keep this poor spirit of vision up too. And stuff like that. Um, and the reason why Goku is like dead stop, stopped in his tracks is because he doesn't have enough god power to go through with the last, you know, attack. When Jocko means Max is like god power, he's like, hold on a second, I'll be right back. So he flies off and stuff like that. No, Goku deforms from Master Ultra Instinct to his base form. And oh, so now they're freaking screwed and stuff like that. And eventually his energy um, got essentially, well, they say sucked away, but drained away. So uh, Moro definitely can absorb and drain away Ultra Instinct energy. Uh, or, well, the power, he can, he can drain away the energy when Goku's in his Ultra Instinct form. So anyways, the rest of the Z fighters show up, like Piccolo, um, Yamcha, Tien, Chaozu, and Gohan. They all show up, and Piccolo comes with the idea like, hey, can you use your Force Spirit Vision to take our energy and transfer it to Goku? And Vegeta's like, oh shit, you're right, I can do that. So they do that whole stuff. In the meantime, Dendi also flew back to the lookout tower to tell you know, friends and family to give their energy away to um, do that. Um, I don't know if the androids did it, um, but it's true, it's true that they did do it. So they eventually did it. Goten and Trunks, far off on 17's island, they do it as well. They do make a mention, huh, why are we doing this? Oh, it must seem like, a, you know, our dads must be having some kind of conflict. I don't know why they're saying that when they can clearly probably sense the dang energy of what's going on. Um, well, technically they can't because their dads turn into Super Saiyan God, so they can't sense God energy, I forgot. But still, regardless, they can probably sense the energy, regardless, you know, coming from Moro, essentially. So, yeah, um, anyways, yeah, th you could say this is essentially like a, uh, mini spirit bomb thing here. So, um, it's, yeah, it's a rehash thing. The whole, let's get our, let's go, like, you know, form our energy in the form of a ball. It's essentially a spirit bomb. Or Vegeta, I, I guess you can say, it's Vegeta's version of spirit bomb. Yeah, where have we seen that before? Great. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm sorry. The artwork looks, and Vegeta's holding like a ball, like Krillin did way back in the Saiyan Saga, with Goku's spirit bomb. Essentially, it's the spirit bomb. There you go, just with the Z Fighter's energy. So that, that that's all I gotta say, that's all I gotta say. Anyways, he throws the ball of energy to Goku. Goku absorbs it, absorbs the power, but he's only managed to go to Super Saiyan Blue and he can't do much of anything after that. And he's still stuck and stuff like that. And the reason why he only went to Super Saiyan Blue is, yeah, regular human energy isn't enough energy for, well, I guess you'd say the power to gain, obtain the power of Ultra Instinct. They say God power, but it's like what he just turned into Super Saiyan God. Whatever. Um, anyways, you know, uh, Dende does make a mention like his own divine power is still developing, so it's not much help to you. Um, even though Dende's been guarding the earth for about how many dang years? Like, he's been guarding the earth since the, s the end of the android saga really so you know you think oh, after all this time your divine power should be not strong strong but definitely up there anyways juggle comes up to the look and he asks bulma like yo where's majin boo and stuff like that and bulma's like oh he's still sleeping on the lookout tower anyways you know yeah moro essentially choking the life out of goku and stuff like that and goku finally says oh sorry guys it's my fault Oh, really? You just didn't have to give him a sense of being. You could have just killed him. So now he really, it, it, it's, how many times have he said in a final battle where it looks like all hope is lost? Sorry, guys, it's my fault. You said this how many dang, many times over the Dragon Ball, you know, history? How many times? Oh, it's my fault, guys. I'm so sorry. I let you down. Well, then stop doing it. God, 
I hope the next arc, whoever the next big bad villain is, I hope they actually like do not have some BS where they like make it where Goku's character is like, okay, I, I need to take this series. You need to die. And when I have the power to do it, you're gonna die. So, you know, I'm sorry. If I see the next arc or any other arcs going forward, continue this whole trend of Goku to somehow getting lack of, lack of days of coal and letting these villains hang around and stuff like in sports, you have these bad teams hang around and you're a really good team and then you have the bad team come back on you and then end up beating you because you're gonna put them away cool sooner. Um, you know, it's like they could go in this stupid rehash plot point, oh, Goku fails to understand to destroy villains the moment he sees fit to. Can we see him actually be like, okay, yeah, stop. I'm sorry, I hate that line when he's like, I'm sorry guys, it's my fault. Stop doing it then, huh? It, it, it's been like the tempting time. You've let a villain freaking just do whatever they want and you don't take them serious. I know I'm just exaggerating about how many times, but it, there's been a multiple, there's been multiple occasions he's let villains, you know, come back and freaking just get the upper hand on them and somehow it almost leads to them all dying. So, um, okay, could you please take, could you please in final battles, take things more serious and finish them off? I know they don't do it because of oh, suspense, but still, I hope going forward, you know, they make it to where Goku's character is much more better here. So it looks like things are def definitely uh, done for. Um, Yamcha makes the mention like, why don't we just leave the planet, essentially go retrieve the giant Dragon Balls, whether it's the Super Dragon Balls or heck, I think even reference, uh, yeah, the, the big, the Super Dragon Balls, essentially, and um, essentially, Krillin's like, yeah, that won't work because he's gonna blow when Morrow explodes, he's gonna blow up the entire galaxy. So in uh, other words, we're screwed. So we're all dying. Also, because the power is also so much for Morrow to handle, Morrow's actually getting freaking insane. Like you can see his design change. Like his eyes are like essentially like cross-eyed. Like you have one eye looking, you know, to the right, another eye looking to the left. He's crazy. He's literally what mentally insane. That's how crazy this dude got to and stuff like that. And Vegeta's like, well, it don't matter. Now that he's went insane, he's gonna explode, you know, on his own. So regardless, no, you know, we can't do much of anything. So yeah, and things like that. Um, so yeah, um, at first the Z Fighter's like, well, I guess we might as well try to do something. Like maybe try to destroy the crystal. I can't just sit here and watch us eventually die. And I'm like, yeah, you know, why can't you all just get you know, involved in this stuff and just be like, yeah, you know, why, why, I, that's what I said. I'm like, why are you guys just sitting around doing nothing? Why don't you just try to see if you can do it yourself and try to press the crystal? Anyways, next thing, Chatsu looks back and he's like, uh, guys, or Tien, look. And next thing you know, you see a giant ball of energy and stuff like that. Now, Goku's like, I feel God power. I feel divine strength. And then that's when Vegeta's like, hey, who the hell sent this? And bruh, talk about coming in the clutch. So one, um, Majin Buu, um, who reverts back to the divine Supreme Kai again, he eventually goes over to Oob's village, makes Oob give his own power, and he that's the person he got it from, which, Man, they went back to Oob. They shown Oob. I don't know if this is the first time they've shown him. They, I know they've referenced Oob in the Dragon Ball Super continuity, um, whether it's the anime or the manga version. Um, I don't know if they they've shown him. Um, I know they definitely didn't show him in the anime, but I don't know if they've shown him in any past chapters in the manga. Um, but um, I think, to my knowledge, it's the first time we've seen Oob in the manga in terms of Dragon Ball Super. Um, if I'm wrong, please correct me on that. Um, so that's when Dende's like, holy crap, Oob has the power all along. And essentially, this is how they explain it. Um, of course, the great Lord of Lords divine power must have gone to the evil half of Majin Buu during the split. Um, and as essentially what happens is half of the power went to the, you know, uh, what what I, I guess I can surmise from this, half the power went to Fat Boo, half the divine power went to Fat Boo. And then the other half 
went to Kidbu, the other divine power, which explains why uh, Ub is essentially pretty strong. Um, and since Ub essentially is the reincarnation of Kid Buu, that's why he has that great divine power and stuff like that. So, um, could you consider Ub potentially of God energy? He'd probably be the first human to, uh, you know, have that. That's why I say, like, maybe we should, uh, go past the tenure time skip and maybe, who knows, maybe have Goku train Ub and, uh, maybe we can see the first development of maybe Earthlings potentially using God key. That would be pretty nice to know. Um, so then maybe, who knows, it could bring back the Earthling characters who might still fight um, or might want to contribute and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, that's that's a good thing. Now, um, Supreme Kai and Oob say, now Oob says like, is this right? Because I don't know uh, what I'm doing. Now Oob's like, uh, uh, well not Oob. Supreme Kai in Majin Buu's body um, says, oh yeah, that's perfect. You, um, you know, thank you. You helped us, and I'm sorry for the sudden trouble. Anyways, the energy comes to Goku, and Vegeta throws it like legit a freaking spirit bomb. I kid you not. This is actually a spirit, another spirit bomb. Um, Goku observes the energy, and bruh, if things weren't getting out of hand crazy enough, dude, this man Goku makes like some kind of hologram energy version of a giant Ultra Instinct Goku. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So the giant Ultra Instinct Goku essentially is holding Moro's palm and holding him back. So it gives Goku a clear shot to the crystal. Goku eventually punches the crystal in a very uh, cinematic way. And the panel shots here were great. There was this one amazing panel that was like really freaking dope. I'm not gonna lie, the art was good. We sense the fact that Goku did that and he smiles as a flying off and then you know, as Goku, you know, essentially punches the thing, you just see Moro's body just break down or shatters, like, all together. And stuff like that. It creates a big, you know, well of explosion. And, yeah. And eventually the Z Fighters reawaken. And eventually, you know, it seems like Moro has been killed. And Goku did it. And the day is safe. Now, they don't confirm that Moro's dead dead. Um, I'm guessing Moro is dead. Maybe he'll be like on his last limbs, like in, a, in that crater, um, dead or ha on the brink of death. And then that's when they'll finish him off finally. Um, it would only make sense, you know, I, I guess, unless, you know, that did happen, unless he really is dead. Like I said, they haven't shown him. And they didn't show any body yet, so he might still be alive, probably just clinging on the brink of death. But it's, the arc is definitely going to end um, next um, month, um, December 20th, or for this arc. So, yeah, only five days, you know, before Christmas. So, um, yeah, that was it. Um, I thought this manga chapter was a pretty good manga chapter. I enjoyed it for the most part. And, yeah, you know, the giant Goku... The spirit bomb essentially rehash technique thing. Yeah, you can kind of say, oh, that's just some whack ass bullshit we're seeing here. But, you know, still, you know, for kicks and giggles, you know, the giant Ultra Instinct Goku was pretty wacky to see. I will say that. I was like, what the hell is. I'm like, Dragon Ball is doing straight up. I'm not saying bullshit, but straight up crazy stuff. But yeah, but um, it was cool to see Oob and actually make him somewhat integral to this plot line even though you know our characters in this point in the time have not met him um so maybe dende will tell him oh yeah um reason you got the extra boost in power that was all thanks to oob and goku would be like really who's oob and then you know maybe that could be where goku had takes that you know maybe that's how goku took that interest in oob you know other than you know the fact that always oh, the reincarnated form of kid boo so um, yeah, I thought the manga chapter was pretty good. I enjoyed it for the most, for the most part, and it makes it, it definitely makes me feel much better than as opposed to chapter sixty-five. Um, definitely much better. This is definitely a much better chapter than chapter sixty-five. Um, I definitely much better. Um, so yeah. So anyways, the arc's gonna conclude next month. We'll see the conclusions of next month of the arc next month, and probably the start are the 
you know, the um, foreshadowing of the next new arc because it seems like the next new arc may start revolving the Bears, Weiss, and Grand Prix storyline going on. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. If you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the com comment section your thoughts on this manga um, on chapter on chapter 66. Um, um, did you think it was better than chapter 65? Um, do you think this was a decent ending? What do you think about the giant all giant thing Goku? Um, Oob um, showing faith here and giving power and helping out and stuff like that. And do you think Moro is still alive? And if he is, um, on the brink of death. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. Hit that subscribe button um, if you want to get more Dragon Ball Super content. Um, well, regarding the manga so far, if the anime decides to make a comeback, um, then I'll definitely do anime reviews for that series. But um, yeah, um, and then hit that notifi notification button to make sure you get updated. Anything I upload to the channel. Because Jesus, today's gonna be a very big day. I got a bunch of animes. I got friggin' Don Machi, uh, Fire Force, Dragon Quest. Holy crap, that's a lot. That's a lot. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your day. So, till then, guys, see you later, guys, later. Peace.